Good morning, students. Myself Sunil Manik, and today we are going to start to learn add a question tag. We also call it as add tail tag in English. So we have learned in last topic how to change the tenses in another tenses. We have learned twelve tenses of English, and today I am going to proceed with our another topic that is. Add a question tag. Add tail tag. So this is also a very easy, simple topic to understand. Actually, I'm going to give you some easy, simple techniques how to change the sentences into question tag, tail tag. So here, I would like to explain to you. We are using helping verbs, auxiliary verbs. as in a contracted form for example in present tense we are having auxiliary verbs uh, helping verbs like am is are has have do or does if we are adding not to them for example am not is not are not and we are making their contracted forms for example Am not becomes in English aren't. It is a, an exception actually in English. We do not say we do not call it as amn't, but it is aren't. Is not the uh, the contracted form of is not is what isn't. Are not aren't and likewise has not hasn't have not haven't do not don't and does not doesn't. So these are the contracted forms. Which are used in adding question tag, tail tag. As we know that in past we are having was, were, did, and had. And while making their contracted forms wasn't, weren't, didn't, and hadn't. Likewise, in future will not will become won't, shall not, shan't. And there are some modal auxiliaries, my dear students. They are can, could, would, should. Must likewise we are going to make the contracted forms like can't, couldn't, wouldn't, shouldn't, and mustn't. So these are the contracted forms, dear students, which are be used, which uh, will be used, sorry, in our sentences. So this is a pattern. This is a simplest technique how to make contracted forms of the negative helping verbs. while making question tag i would like to explain to you some rules how we are going to uh, use the uh, question tags in our sentences very first rule while making question tags we have to write the sentence which is given in the question as it is in our answer second rule after writing that sentence in the answer we have to give a comma there we have to put a comma there and third rule is that we have to add either positive or i or negative question tag and after at last we are giving the question mark even if you lose that comma even if you lose that question mark if if, if you forget to write put that question mark you are going to lose your marks so students be careful of using that question mark using that comma today we are learning affirmative sentences in question tag my fourth rule while making question tag is that if the given sentence is affirmative if the given sentence is positive then we are adding negative question tag means that in the sentence there is no no there is no not there is no don't there is no never these sentences are called as affirmative sentences positive sentences if there are affirmative sentences we are going to use negative question tag so dear students remember this and today i am giving you some sentences here on the board for example very first sentence very first example I am fine today. This is very simple sentence. I am giving you simple sentences and explain it to you. 
आई एम फाइन टुडे जर का वाक्य होकारार्थी असेल तर आपण क्वेश्चन टॅग देणार आहोत नकारार्थी मुलांनो आणि वाक्य जसंच्या तसं आपण आपल्या उत्तरामध्ये लिहायचं आहे त्याच्यानंतर स्वल्प विराम द्यायचा आहे आणि शेवटी प्रश्नचिन्ह देणं अतिशय गरजेचं आहे अन्यथा आपण आपला मार्ग गमावू शकाल तर वाक्य होकारार्थी आपण घेतो आहोत या सगळ्या होकारार्थी वाक्यांचा क्वेश्चन टॅग जो आहे टेन टॅग जो आहे तो नकारार्थी येणार आहे उदाहरणार्थ पहिलं उदाहरणार्थ उदाहरण तुमच्या इथे समोर ठेवतो आय एम फाईन टुडे एक साधं सोपं वाक्य उत्तरामध्ये आपण आहे तसंच ते वाक्य घेतलेलं आहे आय एम फाईन टुडे आणि ऍम च आपण काय करतोय मुलांनो ऍम करणार का तर नाही करणार तर त्या ऍम नॉट च आपण कॉन्ट्रॅक्टेड फॉर्म संक्षिप्त रूप जे आहे ते करणार आहोत आर एन सो अवर क्वेश्चन टॅग अवर आन्सर इज आय एम फाईन टुडे अँड आर एन आय आय हे आपण आहे तसंच घेणार आहोत पूर्ण आहेत आर एन आय सेकंड सेंटेन्स श्रेयस And Shridhar are preparing a project. A very simple sentence once again. Shreyas and Shridhar. They are two persons. So definitely they are plural. Plural. So we are using the pronoun they. If a masculine gender is there in the sentence, we are using the pronoun he. If there is a feminine gender at the beginning of the sentence we are using pronoun she then if there is a neuter gender we are using it as a pronoun and if there is plural there are two persons or more than two three persons we are using they as a pronoun in our question tag so second sentence i would like to explain one more time shreyas and shridhar are preparing a project we are writing the sentence which is in the question as it is in our answer so your answer becomes are and they because they are plural we are using this are here as a auxiliary verb and are and they they we are taking for plural third sentence minal will learn a poem so now here subject is who feminine gender minal will learn a poem in the answer what after comma we are writing won't will the contracted form of will not will become won't and because minal is a feminine gender we are using here what she won't she do not forget a question mark and number four sentence gaurav is an honest lawyer gaurav is an honest lawyer as it is in the answer we have written it and here is is as a auxiliary verb so isn't he i would like to uh, tell you one more time that if the sentence is affirmative if the sentence is positive we are writing negative sentences and dear students i would like to tell you likewise these sentences if there is has have can must as uh, helping verbs in the sentences we are using them we are writing them as hasn't he she or it have haven't he she uh, sorry haven't we i you if there is can we are using can't and then as per the our uh, neuter masculine or feminine gender we are using he she it or they so these are the simple sentences i have explained to you next time i'll be giving you some sentences to solve and uh, i'll be giving you the sentences for homework in our whatsapp group and those uh, sentences you are going to solve for your homework i hope you understood these sentences i am now coming to next part that is don't doesn't and didn't as i told you that helping verbs or auxiliary verbs we are making them as negative contracted forms for example is isn't 
am not, aren't, have not, haven't, likewise. Those are very simple sentences, dear students. Actually, if the sentence is affirmative, we are using, we are writing negative uh, question tag. So, it is easy to use isn't, aren't, haven't because they are present in the sentence and we can write them in our answer as question tag. Isn't, haven't a sale, aren't a sale. Hey, Lina, can, are, 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 Present mother, Vartaman Karama, the Apple Pau Shop to Ide Waki Milun to relay. They listen old songs. Dusravaki Ide Sarita listens to her parents. And in the Tisravaki past Madeahe, Bukara Madeahe, you listen the rules. You listen the rules. Athapan Boweki Athene Waki and the Apple don't, doesn't, and it didn't offer the Sakarazam. Sarubadam. Present tense with the apple, verb should the listen. Dusra ite listens and past with the apple, pile of lunar with the pouch of the apple, listens a past tense and listen at Bukara. English with a Judica he crea with it. Tap take crea for the mother day. Do does and it did. Samavishas to Samavilas. कोटे क्रियापद गया तुम्ही क्रियापदाचं जे मूळ रूप असतं त्याच्यामध्ये डू सामावलेला असतो जर का क्रियापदाला एस किंवा ई एस प्रत्यय लागला असेल तर त्याच्यामध्ये डस समाविष्ट असतो आणि जर का क्रियापदाचं तिसरं रूप जर बी 3 असेल इफ देयर इज थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब देन देयर इज डेड इन इट तो डेड जो आहे म्हणजे समजायचं आपण की तो क्रियापदाचा तिसरं रूप क्रियापदाचं तिसरं रूप म्हणजे तो क्रियापदाचा भूतकाळा आहे मग टू डस आणि डिड याचा जर का आपण नकारार्थी कॉन्ट्रॅक्टेड फॉर्म बनवलं संक्षिप्त रूप बनवलं तर ते कसं होणार आहे डोंट डजंट आणि डिड आता या डू डस आणि डिड चा आपल्याला या वाक्यांमध्ये उपयोग करायचा आहे तुमच्या लक्षात आलं असेल की डू डस आणि डिड येतो कुठून समजा लिसन मध्ये डू आहे तर त्याचं मूळ रूप होणार आहे लिसन लिसन मध्ये जर का आपण डज ऍड केलेला असेल तो असतो असतो त्यावेळेला त्याला एस प्रत्यय लागलेला असतो आणि क्रियापदाचं तिसरं रूप जर का असेल लिसनर असेल तर त्याच्यामध्ये काय समोरलेला आहे मुलांनो डेड समोरलेला आहे तर या डू डज आणि डेड चा वापर आपण आपल्या क्वेश्चन टॅग मध्ये करणार आहोत आणखी एक क्रियापद मी इथे तुमच्या समोर मांडतो ब्लू बिल्ड बिल्ड जर का आपण बिल्ड चा उच्चार केला तर त्याच्यामध्ये काय समावेश असणार आहे डू समझा बिल्ड ला एस प्रत्यय लावलं आपण मुलांनो तर त्याच्यामध्ये काय असणार आहे डज आणि जर का बिल्ड च बिल्ड च तिसरं रूप आपण जर का घेतलं इथे बिल्ड आहे बिल्ड त्याच्यामध्ये डिड आपण ऍड केला तर त्या बिल्ड च तिसरं रूप काय झालं बिल्ड झालं म्हणजे तो त्याचा भूतकाळ झाला अशी सगळी क्रिया जर का आपण घेतली फर्स्ट v1 v2 v3 तिन्ही मध्ये फर्स्ट फॉर्म मध्ये डू असणार आहे जर का सेकंड फॉर्म असेल पास्ट टेंस असेल तर त्याच्यामध्ये डिड असणार आहे आणि तिसरं रूप जे आहे पास्ट पार्टिसिपल असतं दुसऱ्या रूपामध्ये जे v2 आहे त्या v2 मध्ये आपण त्याच्यामध्ये पाहू शकतो की डिड समावेश असतो अभी अ कमिंग टू आवर फर्स्ट सेंटेंस आई एम राइटिंग द सेम सेंटेंस अगेन ऑन द बोर्ड दे लिसन ओल्ड सॉंग्स our first rule that we are writing the sentence which is in the question as it is in our answer so listen kithe ahe varun ta do cha apan negative contracted form kela don't ani pude de as it is getla and question here listens puna ekda ahe te sentence apan answer madhe lilela ahe Sarita listens to her parents.
putting a comma and we are writing here doesn't she because she is feminine gender sarita so we are writing here doesn't she now coming to past tense you listened the rules writing it as it is in our answer you listened the rules putting a comma comma is very important if you miss that you are going to lose your mark you listened the rules did and contracted form didn't you will become you so didn't you so this is a question tag used for example don't doesn't and didn't by the students so this particular uh, solving these uh, answers we must know v1 v2 v3 because each and every verb uh, they form uh, with do does and did so there is a first v1 there is do if s or es is added to the verb then we are using does and if it is v2 past tense it is there we are using did and these are the contracted forms in negative don't doesn't and did it the rest of the sentences where there are are is must can has have we are using their negative contracted forms like isn't hasn't mustn't can't they are easy sentences but while making such sentences we have to be very careful and we must know the v1 v2 and their format actually the rule is same if the sentence is affirmative we are making negative uh, we are writing negative question tag and if the sentence is negative we are using positive question tag so that part i am teaching you in next session so now the next part of question tag just recently we have learned how to make affirmative sentences positive sentences into negative question tag so now the next part of this is that while turning the sentence into question tag if the sentence is if the given sentence is negative sentence if there is negative sentence we are using positive question tag in the sentence you will find no never not likewise don't doesn't aren't haven't so these are negative contracted forms and these are negative sentences so dear students we are using those helping verb those auxiliary verbs as positive question tag and using those auxiliary verbs or helping verbs in our answer in our sentence just in last part we learned that if the positive sentence is there we are writing negative sentence and now we are writing we are learning negative sentence and a positive question tag the rest of the rules are same for example if the question is there and we are writing the same sentence which is in the question as it is in the answer putting a comma and adding a positive question tag and giving a question mark at last so here very first sentence i'm going to teach you i'm not feeling well today so dear students here the sentence is negative as we can see i am not feeling well today we are writing the same sentence in our answer as it is i am not feeling well today and the auxiliary verb is am so your answer positive answer positive question tag is am i second sentence we have not submitted the report and in the answer we are writing the same sentence here we have not submitted the report comma have we number 3 people aren't this is contracted form aren't happy nowadays people aren't happy nowadays so the sentence as it is we have written in the answer
comma and what is the positive question tag aren't we are removing that anti not and r r because people are plural form so we are writing r they number 4 is the sachin won't won't play match tomorrow won't is the contracted form of will not dear students so you must know these very small small things and we are writing in the answer sachin won't play match tomorrow for example won't will and he is a masculine gender will he and question mark so learning and writing the answers of question tag is very important and where there is don't doesn't or didn't we are writing do they do you if there is doesn't in the sentence we are writing does she does he masculine gender we are writing he feminine gender we are writing she neuter gender is there we are writing it and if uh, subject is in the plural form we are writing they and giving a question mark at last so do remember dear students if there is a positive sentence if there is an affirmative affirmative sentence we are writing negative question tag and if the sentence is in negative form we are writing positive question tags and likewise we are writing our answers question tag add a question tag add a tail tag so it looks very simple actually but some students make silly mistakes so we must avoid these mistakes and likewise we are writing our answers so do remember these rules they are very important and sometimes there is never in a sentence let me tell you one thing for example he never speaks lie please listen he never speaks lie never is negative sentence so while writing your answer he never speaks lie speak we are uh, we have added s in front of speak speaks so that speaks in that speaks we can see does so your answer will be he never speaks lie does he and question mark so these are the simplest uh, things actually suppose if you take he never spoke lie spoke is the past tense v2 so never is negative once again so he never spoke lie putting comma did he means if the sentence is negative we are writing positive question tag and if the question uh, if the sentence is affirmative positive we are writing negative question tag so i hope today you have understood our question tag part as a grammar section in a gra in a grammar section and uh, i'll be giving you the homework i'll be giving you some sentences and you are going to solve those sentences at your home thank you very much thank you for listening